So are you going to believe me if I tell you that we can install Grafana in less than 60 seconds on a Linux server? If you don't believe me, I'm going to show you how. So go to grafana.com slash grafana slash download, scroll down, select the edition. So in this case, we want to select the open source. So we are going to select OSS and then you can select Linux and then further scroll down, select the flavor which, whichever you are on. So right now I'm on CentOS. So I'm going to use these two lines of command. So first line is going to download the software and second line is going to install the software. So I've copied the first line. I'm going to go to the server. This is the server which I am on. I'm going to paste it and then hit enter. This is going to download the software. Software is downloaded. Now I'm going to go to that uh, page again. I'm going to copy the second line and then I'm going to paste it here again. Now before I hit enter, just remember this command is running with sudo. So what it means is the software installation is going to take place as root. A user so make sure you have sudo access if it gives you error or says you that you don't have sudo access in that case you need to get in touch with your linux admin and he's going to give you sudo access so hit enter and then software is going to get installed if it asks for con confirmation select yes or y hit enter and then it is going to install the software now remember once the software is installed by default it is not in a started mode so you have to start the services so for example, uh, here you can see it is showing you all the commands which you can use to enable start or stop the services. So first of all, we are going to run this command. Uh, I'm just going to copy it and going to paste it here. So what this command is going to do is it is going to make sure whenever server is started, Grafana is going to start automatically. So let's say if your server goes down for whatever reason and if it comes up, Grafana is also going to come up automatically. So this is very important. If you don't do it, in that case, let's say if your server is rebooted, in that case, you will have to manually start Grafana services. So in a production, it is always good that you run this command. Now, second command which we are going to run here is, it is going to help us start Grafana services. You can see the command is pretty simple. I'm going to hit enter. Now Grafana services have started. How do I check that Grafana services are really started? So in that case, I can just copy paste the same command and I can change start and I can change it to status. Hit enter. And then we can see that it is showing Grafana is uh, successfully started and active. Now I'm going to go to the browser and then we are going to uh, see whether the Grafana services are really running or not. So I need public IP address of my server. Just give me a moment. I'm going to quickly copy it. So this is the server of, this is the IP address of my server. And I'm going to paste this IP address here. And by default Grafana runs on port 3000. So we are going to use this port 3000. And now you see this is the this is how the user interface of Grafana is going to look like when it loads for the first time. See how beautiful, how easy it is to install Grafana in less than 60 seconds on a Linux machine. Now by default you need to log in with admin as a username and also password is going to be admin. So I'm going to give admin, admin again. Now click on login. It is going to ask you whether you want to change the password. I don't want to change the password. So I'm going to click on skip and then we are going to see beautiful home page of Grafana. Now we have installed latest version of Grafana, which was released today. So right now you can see here we have the release information. So this is Grafana 8.1.4, which is released today on September 16, 2021. And I want you to learn latest version of Grafana because Grafana has lots of features coming in in latest version and I want you to know all of those latest features. So that's all in this lesson. See you again in the next lesson.